So now you have been trending lately. Um, not you specifically, but a conversation that you had with a fan has been trending. Yo, that kid set me up. He screamed. Do you feel like he set you yo, up or do you I, feel like he was you know genuinely what it is? asking? Yo, I talk I, I try to talk to every fan, pop fan, mm -hmm. for one reason. Because pop used to be talking to his fans crazy on the ground. And I used to be like, yo, bro, why you be talking to these motherfuckers, bro? Da, da, da. He's like, what, bro? You show a love. He's like, what, bro? I love my fans, bro. Yeah. He's like, what? I'll talk to all of them. Nah, the pop impersonation really yeah, go crazy. Yeah, he said, I talk to all of them. I love my fans. So I, it stuck to my head. He said, yo, I love my fans. I talk to all of them. Yo, I love my fans, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I was like, word. So when he passed and like all these fans was on my thing, I just started talking to them. For like three years, I've just been talking. And, and, and they keep asking me about new music. But... What I said, they kind of took it, like, people say, oh, what happened to the record with me? This record I did with Pop, Pop and Meek. Mm -hmm. What you mean, what happened to it? Y'all heard it. Y'all heard the snippet, so you know it's there. Right. So, I, like, but where, I'm like, speaking about stuff like, that y'all, like, y'all thinking there's new vocals and... Okay, so you're saying stuff that has never even been heard before. Yeah, if y'all heard okay. the snippets, y'all know. Because there's a lot of unreleased. Yeah, and I Pop think got that, a lot of yeah. snippet stuff. I'm not talking about those. I meant, like... Bruh, ain't no, you ain't gonna hear a pop vocal. He talking about your 2023. No, <laughs> you feel me? Whatever we heard from bro, and whatever y'all hearing right now, that little snippets of this, snippet of that, those are there. Mm -hmm. you get, like the family, I think the family's working on something, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but as far as like new vocals, like never heard before, honestly, it's probably there, but I don't got it. Because before oh, wow. I met pop, bro was recording anywhere. Pop used to record in. In his homeboy's kitchen, mm. and he was like any studio. So, especially 092, but his boys are 092, they probably got some pop stuff, but I don't got it. You know what I'm saying? Everything I had, you heard on Meet the Woo 1, 2, Shoot for the Stars, Faith. Faith. Like, I gave all my pop okay. stuff. Okay. Like, now, that I'm glad that you cleared that up because I yeah. was definitely wondering about that as well. But I think my biggest takeaway from the screenshot wasn't even about the unreleased it was more so about what you said about he <coughs> wouldn't approve of 99 percent of the music oh. that has come out yeah. so far why do you think that is or what is it about the music that has been released um after I he just passed know bro bro was like the short period of time i knew pop i'm not saying i grew up with pop his friends probably know him better than me of course but on the business side and as far as music he told me everything. Mm -hmm. He was together when it's music time. Like he even told my 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 attorney Bob. Bob told me this after. He said, "Yo, listen. That's when people is like motivating me to keep working and shit." Mm -hmm. Bob was like, "Yo." He pop told him like one time. He said, "Yo." Um, they was talking about me. He said, "Man, I don't know. I don't know about that managing shit Rico be doing." He said, "I don't oh, know about shit. all that shit." Damn. He said, "But <laughs> when it comes to, like when he tells me about music, when he tells me like, yo, do this, do that.'" Put this person on that, that. He said, yo, I listen to everything he said in the studio. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, one time, Pop was like, yo, he want to go up. I'm like, yo, bro, you got Dior. We got Meet the Woo out and all that. What you mean you want to go up? You, we, we, you booming. Bob He's like, nah, that. like, that wasn't enough. He said, nah, I want to go up. Like, and I was like, all right, you want to go up, up? I said, I bet. You got to stop doing these type of records. I said, yo, bro. I said, I said, check what? I said, you know what runs... The world and music, I was like melodies, right? I said, check out any all the rich popping dude mm -hmm. from Kanye, Drake, Travis Scott, all them niggas is melodic. Quavo, mm -hmm. I said, I said, yo, bust some, you know what I mean? And I swear to God, you could even ask Steven. And like two weeks after, Pop told me, yo, don't send, he's, he's like, don't send him no more drill beats. Mm -hmm. I never told nobody like that. He said, yo, he don't want to hear no more drill beats. He said, yo, He's your bro, send me some Travis Scott beats and Quavo type beats. Wow. <laughs> That's so interesting because of how synonymous Because he wanted to like, is. how about this? Like, this is why bro was different. Mm -hmm. Pop wanted to move away from kind of like do other records as soon as he seen everybody was doing it. That's his body. It started getting over. He's like, oh, y'all on that? No, I'm on some different shit. I'm off this. Your bro. Da, 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 da. He's very much a tastemaker. You so it was so like, like, I could see him wanting to start yeah, something Yeah, he new. wasn't like. He wasn't like too fond of like, you know what I'm saying? Once he seen like the whole drill shows, he's like, yo, nah, I'm off that. I'll say that was a good look because that deep voice and melodic combo, 
perfection. Yeah. Like even down to like the little snippets. Like imperfections is really one of my yeah, favorites, and it's like a, a minute long. Yeah. But it's something about that melody with the voice. Like it really, it gave us something new that we hadn't really heard before. Yeah. So, to what you said, so you said ninety nine percent. What would that, or what does that one percent look like yo, that you think Pop that he so, would approve of? Pop was so picky. Right, mm -hmm. bro. Even had a side of, of when, when my boy Badman used to take a picture. He he has a side that this is my good side. Yo, bro, you, you gotta get my good side. Like when the dude tells you that, that's that star. So you know, right <laughs> like his music, he wasn't playing with it. Mm -hmm. So that's all I meant. I'm not saying like it would not be released or nothing, but like, bro would not just. He would tweak it. He'll probably change his verse. He'll probably do something. Like you know what I mean? Like okay, because there were a couple of things that I felt like. I don't know. I don't know the process of creating a posthumous album, um, but there were a couple of even like features that I was like, hmm, I wonder if he was still alive. Like, would these happen? I might even want, yo listen. I might even want to touch that because people who know Pop, they know. Yeah. Who he fuck with in the industry? Pop wasn't like no industry friendly dude. Yeah. Bro didn't. He didn't give two f's about working with nobody. He didn't care about no features. One person he really like, I know for like a fact he loved and besides Quavo, mm -hmm. but he loved Quavo. Besides Quavo and Amigos was uh was Thugger. Mm. He loved Thugger. Free like, Thugger. That's why you see Rocky bought Thugger Spider. You might hear me say, yo, look, I th the spider, that's Thugger shit. Mm. Uh, like he fucked with Thugger, hard body, free Thugger. So let me know this. What does that process of a posthumous album look like? Now, you said like he really fucked with Thugger. I'm sure there were other people that he would have probably wanted to make Thugger, a song with. Thugger, Future. Um, um, yo, he wanted to work with Bruno Mars. We had a record that he wanted Bruno Mars on it. But I think they put somebody else on it. That girl, Lupe. Lupe. And Dua Lipa? Yeah. Now, that was going to be... My, but that's why I was asking because... How involved were the people that actually like knew him and knew what his vision was? How <coughs> involved were they in the making of the posthumous albums? Um, I know that you produced like some yeah, of the songs, but like, did, yeah, what kinda, did that look like? I kind of like it was a lot going on, so I kind of removed myself because, mm. like, at first, I gave I gave my input. I sent a listen, right? Of, of what I feel pop would have liked, mm -hmm. even with the features, what songs to put on the thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, once I saw like they, they disregarded it, they disregarded it, I said, y'all do y'all thing. And who? That was, was for the Faith album. I was like, y'all do y'all thing. Yeah, um, I think. And that I see somebody, I think somebody said I was mad because I wasn't involved. Or something. I think it was Joe Budden. Shout out to Joe, man. I fuck with OG, but I can never be mad at that. I'm always involved in the sound with pop. I just. Then, like, I saw what was going on. I said, oh, word. All right. Y'all do y'all thing. Mm, that was T. Want more? Check out our website at www.talkingthetownshow.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.